So I got an appointment for my client in uh, Fort Wayne today, and it was with the vice president, and he's been with a, a current man service fighter for a few years, and he didn't necessarily have a ton of pain, but he really hasn't looked elsewhere since they've been with him. So kind of got him to agree it's, it's a good idea just to see what the options are. Um, so set up a meeting to talk with the owner, um, and we'll just see where it goes, see if we can fit anywhere, provide a better solution, or have some better pricing. So I got my fourth appointment for my client this month, just started with them. Uh, talked to a company down in Louisiana who is an MSP, and we are going to look at doing some staff augmentation and project planning for them, and possibly save them some money and time. So uh, that's going to be for the 22nd. So I got an appointment for my client in St. Louis. I spoke to the CFO for a material handling company. They basically have one guy takes care of everything, trusts him, talks really highly of him, said to give him a call. So when I did, I just explained to him that I'm not looking to push or change him in any direction, but wanted to learn more. Started asking him some questions, like what's the most challenging things that he faces? Uh, does he have backups? Started telling me how he, biggest problem is time. He doesn't have anybody that can fill in for him when he goes on vacation or if he's out sick or for any reason at all. And I simply told him, I'm like, look man, let us make an introduction with you and show you how we can be a backup to you so that you can take some of that time and relax or have somebody that's there that has tools and resources change his whole opinion of it so he's like yeah that sounds great uh, i'm looking forward to it gave me a cell phone number and said to call him next week there are about 35 users got uh, two servers three locations so i got an appointment for my client out in uh, colorado it is with a graphic design company that they actually know um, and have done work for before and have actually have like traded work it's about 15 users, um, they need better response times, they have like a custom system built from an internal guy, so they're looking for more support and to have somebody kind of just take over things. So um, they meet, I think, the 1st of July, so it should be a pretty good meeting. Yeah, uh, so I got an appointment for my Denver client earlier, uh, it's just an example of good timing. I uh, called the president on his cell phone, um, he said that they were actually just talking about possibly changing providers this morning. Um, you know, not the biggest one. I think it's about nine users, one server. Uh, but there's definitely some pain points in there. Their current company is being more reactive than proactive, and I think it's going to be a good conversation come the time of appointment. So I uh, set an appointment with someone in Iowa today. Um, it's been a minute since I've talked to her uh, back in April, and she finally picked up, and she was still interested. So we got something on the calendar, and she's meeting with Aaron next week. Yeah, so I uh, contacted this guy a few times, couldn't get a hold of him, and I finally got a hold of him today. He was open to meet with Aaron next week on Wednesday, so good job on that. We got an appointment today for the client out in Charlotte. Um, yeah, it's got about 23 employees, and I mean, it's going so, so far this month, it's been a pretty good month. Um, kind of been a pretty fast start, and that's always important to kind of get a fast start going because... Um, you don't want to have to be scrambling towards the end of the month for dials or even appointments for that matter. So uh, to get a fast start out the gate is pretty, pretty important. Um, but uh, yeah, no, uh, it should be a good one. Decent opportunity. It's a conversation they're going to have in a couple of weeks. But uh, yeah, no, it's, so far it's been a good day.